Hello, hello, Instruct Portal Games. This is the camera I'm talking to. This is one. Yeah. Hello, hello, Instruct Portal Games, and this is Spiel Digital, and this is my special guest. Jana Kijanka, welcome to the special uh, app. Uh, I think it's the first time you're showing it. We are showing Robinson Crusoe app, but uh, wait a moment, wait a minute, let's, let's. It's a Spiel Digital. Welcome to Portal Games booth. Uh, this is first of our many, many live streams uh, today. We are streaming today six different events. Now, Jana will present you a Robinson Crusoe supporting app. This is the, for the first time we present it in public. Then I will run a demo of uh, Detective Season 1, which I don't have uh, at hand at this moment, but you will be able to learn how to play Detective Season 1 without spoilers, so don't be afraid of the spoilers. Then I'm going to do a top 10 the most unique games I, I ever I ever brought from Essen. So it's going to be a very interesting list of uh, board games. Then we have our Captain Ling, uh, hero, our American hero. Uh, playing uh, and presenting our new games and he's going to play Monolith Arena Golems, the new expansion from Monolith Arena. He's going to play Naroshima Convoy. Naroshima Convoy is a game, card game I designed many years ago and he's going to present it for you. And then he runs the third stream of the day. He plays the Naroshima Hex Troglodytes, uh, presenting you this the new army for Naroshima Hex. So altogether there's six streams today prepared for you. And besides these live events, besides these live streams, of course we have a booth and at our booth you can find a ton of uh, additional videos. So you can check them uh, later with the teasers, trailers, interviews, many, many things. And on our booth at Portal Games uh, at Spiel Digital, you can find also a ton of special promotions, special prices, uh, new content, new releases, old releases, uh, unique items like, let me grab a... Uh, book written by Ignacy Trzewiczek, this, this guy, so you can get it at our booth and many, many other things. Uh, so welcome everybody at Spill Digital. Uh, are you sure we are live? Yeah. Uh, can I check it here somehow? Somehow? Yes, it looks like we are live. Let me check if anybody... Oh my god, there's people already. Almost 100 people, so hello, hello. Board is upside down, uh, says Łukasz. Can you fix it for the people? Uh, guys, uh, Mar Marek is the uh, best, but sometimes he is almost the best, so you have to forgive him that he was not prepared for that. Uh, but the most important part of this seminar will be the app, and hopefully the app is uh, right. Hello all, hello, hello, hi, hello, hello, good morning from Iowa, USA, hi, all okay on YouTube. Uh, when is the app available? So, now I'm... What are you doing? Uh, just... <laughs> Welcome everybody. And now Jana is uh, taking the stage. She's going to talk about the app, talk about all these features. I'll be just uh, interrupting once in a while and making the stupid comments. And I'm going to read the chat. So if there's any important question on the chat, I will read it aloud for you. Uh, but it is time for Ignacy to be silent. Let's start. All right. So uh, when you think about the app that is supporting the game, uh, what is the most important thing you want to keep um, having on your phone? So Personally, for me, I think it's tracking because when you're playing Robinson, there's all these phases. I'm just waving the people. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, there's all these phases that you actually have to remember that, okay, did I mm, forget to make uh, the morale phase again and like taking it uh, after you actually try to make some actions and so on and so on. And this app lets you always uh, be reminded that uh, okay i have to make a threat action okay i need to resolve this event and that is the first uh, step that i actually thought is cool to have on the phone and the second one is that you actually can make more cards uh, without actually like buying them because let's say you want to play uh, with a different expansions. Uh, so you need to take those decks, check out the books, check out the, um, those adventure icons, and then you have to actually make the deck by yourself. It takes time and it's, uh, you know, just time consuming. And uh, when you want to incorporate any other special uh, events or something like that, you also have to keep them separate. So this one is taking um, all the steps out of your mind. You just press the, I want to play this expansion, I want to play with 
six books uh, in my deck and you're set. And those uh, are... Every, everybody in the chat is saying good job Marek because he flipped the board. Dear chat, you are not giving the good word for Marek for first screwing up and then fixing it. Uh, I cancel all the prices for Marek. Continue. I just respond to the chat demand. <laughs> all right. So I think we can also already mention that in the app we already have implemented. So let's start by, by actually looking at the app. No, 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 no. First, first things first. This is a work in progress. If during this presentation this app will be dead, it's okay. The app is in progress. The art that you are seeing on the, on the camera is, is prototype version, so it's not the final, final art. So this is the first time we show this app in public because we received so many questions about how this app works, when it's released, uh, what's about the app, there's so many questions. So we decided, okay, let's show it to the people, but we are not showing the final product. This is the product that is in development, it is not the final work, it's not the final artwork, and what's most important, if it crashes, we know that. If there is mistakes, don't worry. This is a work in progress for the first time we are presenting it, it's a prototype. Mm -hmm. So, uh, well, uh, as much as Ignacy said that it's all going to be a work in progress uh, things, uh, besides that, I think we can start. <laughs> uh, so, when you are pressing to get a new game or continue if you already played the previous one, as you can see I already had something started but I don't want to go back to it and I want to play a new game. And uh, when you are going into the game, you can actually see that we already have mm, some... Mm, I think we have delay on the screen, so we have to wait yeah, The delay a takes second. one minute, that's quite a, quite a, quite a delay. Mm. Marek will check out what's happening and uh, I will answer the uh, quick quick question from the, from the chat. The uh, chat is asking if this is the supporting app. So yes, this is, uh, as, as Jana will show you in a moment, this is app that supports the base game, adds uh, some new elements to the base game, but it is not Robinson Crusoe the app. This is Robinson Crusoe supporting app. Marco? And uh, we are now checking uh, to stream to stream you the, uh, the picture. Jana is outside or there is a very cold in your HQ? Uh, we have uh, open windows sometimes, we have sometimes closed windows, so the temperature is different. Companion app, says uh, Łukasz Szytko, this I think this is uh, a yeah, this is a good uh, word. Pavel is uh, saying, I think it is not for free. It is not so easy to make such an app. So, business questions. I didn't saw this question, but I can already answer it. So, at the very beginning, we wanted this app to be uh, free for all the fans of Robinson Crusoe. But indeed, as Pavel is saying, uh, and the development uh, is taking a ton of time. It takes a ton of resources and money. So, we need to have it uh, somehow uh, paid. But we will keep the price very, very low. So at this point, we are thinking about one dollar, like 99 cents, like a just a small, small price to help us uh, recover the cost of uh, producing the app. So it is not a free app, but it will be be very, very cheap app uh, just to download, have fun, and and love it. Um, so now we are back. Uh, you see uh, what's All happening. Right. You choose the new game, and you see some uh, scenarios. All right. So right in the beginning, you can see that you can actually choose a theme for the cards that you will be implemented in the deck that you were playing. So uh, let me show you that. All right, I think, okay, we have a delay, but uh, it's already working. So we can choose, uh, those are of course uh, the prototype versions, uh, not the final ones. But let's say that we want to play this uh, theme. And uh, now you have the uh, setting screen and uh, regarding the uh, you know type of the scenario that we are actually playing let's if i may because there's so many questions uh, uh, of course uh, shooting at us and uh, there was no like uh, people you are showing what you are clicking but there's no expression what what it is so in the app you are choosing scenarios yes uh, and Ex it... explain that to people because there's so many questions right now that All it right. doesn't make sense to click uh, more and more Okay, so uh, let me tell you that in the very beginning, as far as I know, uh, you will have all the cards from the base game. And also, uh, I think, two uh, of the special new cards. And actually, 
what I wanted to tell you is that in this app you will have all of those event cards and all of those adventure cards for the of course three of those decks um, so when you are looking on this board and uh, now it's stuck with the cards actually when you will use the campaign app you can put them away and just place your phone on the space for thread action like here and you can start playing because when you are putting the number of rounds because those are just the theme for the events and for the adventures you still have your scenario on the side of the board and you choose number of rounds uh, as there is an, an expansion so let's say we want to play the uh, you know the first scenario uh, was Bitkovia? Castaways. Castaways and it has 12 rounds so I'm Może choosing możesz, to take so I will choose to take 12 rounds and now as you can see uh, if you want to choose different uh, difficulty level you can switch between a book symbol and adventure symbols like you would normally do in the setup so still you have this option available so let's say I want to play normal so I will take six of both and also you can choose to take a random wreckage card but we want to have it normally and now we can actually start I'm done with the setup. I can see that I have first round already. So I have a reminder uh, to put my pawn on the uh, time uh, track uh, accordingly. And the first event deck starts. And as you can see, uh, let's put this card to have a, uh, you know, mm, physical representations for what we have on the phone. <laughs> yeah, and actually this one is Polish version, but don't worry. It's just what we've implemented for the testing issues. It will be all right in the final one. All right. Okay, so first, uh, what you can see is that here you will be able to see the upper side of the card. Uh, of course, with the icon, with all the text for it, and then you can actually switch to the thread action to check out what you can make to make it go on off of the thread area, and of course thread effect, uh, which will tell you what will happen if you don't do it and the cards is slipped to the, normally physically on the board it would be slipped out of the board, but here the event uh, card will just uh, pop out of the window when you're taking the next round and the app does that for you. You don't have to remember about it. You just press done and you have it reminded that you, let's say, have to again uh, resolve the effect of the thread. And now, as we can see, all of this information were already impl impl implemented here. So we can play uh, and we have here the action phase. So let's say we already made the morale phase, we already made the production phase, and we can see what we can do here. And as you would, let's say, go for the um, explore action, yeah, I think so, and you would roll your dice, and let's say you had the uh, adventure result. So what you do, if you have up, you press here, and you can go to the adventure decks. Let's say you want to see what happens on the export card. And now, as you would normally have on the card with explore action, you have the event that is actually resolved for you right here. And as we mentioned before, there is a theme. So the <clears throat> text here would be um, like uh, already set in this theme. And those effects are also kind of, uh, I mean, besides the base cards that we will be, will be having normally, those, uh, those uh, uh, let's say, zombies or dinosaurs will also have special uh, new 
type of uh, results that you will be able to like uh, learn at the beginning of the game. But uh, I will tell more about that later. For so on, let's check the basic options. So you took the adventure card, you can uh, resolve it and then press OK. The next thing is, as you already made think about it, there are some cards in the treasury, um, mystery deck, right? In the mystery decks. Uh, which can be shuffled into your deck, uh, for example, ceremonial bowl. And well, we have special uh, section for it when you can actually choose which one should be here and just press it. And it means that your card will be implemented into the deck that is already on the phone. So we don't have to worry about not being able to shuffle that in because we have that covered too. And when we have this special uh, thread action, we can first check whether something happens if we don't resolve it. And we can check all of these effects of the card actually here and go back. And if you would like to normally as you would put your palm here and resolve this action, we press it here and we are uh, being able to resolve the action. So let's say I'm doing it. And as you can see, it's gone. So we know that this effect won't be resolved because it's already gone from our phone. And when I press end round, of course, I can have the reassurance that I want to do it. And I have next card from the deck. I can, of course, check out all these sections. And uh, if I don't choose to uh, use uh, this thread action, it will stay here. So at the end of the round, I will have normally event action. And as you can see, I already have two of the cards. So if in this round I wouldn't resolve the thread action, then I will remember it. And during the next round, it will resolve actually the thread effect. So you will be always reminded at the beginning of the next round, after you press the end round button, that you have to do that. And, uh, well, we also have uh, the icon to end the game, that you actually won or if you died. So you can uh, place it on your Twitter, Facebook, or any other social media that you actually played with us, that you played Center Expansion and uh, have your statistics how many times you died, how many times you won. <coughs> so, um, basically I think those are the most basic actions. So let's go into the options that you can switch the language and device orientation because you can put it like that way. So you will have, actually like you would have two cards in these sections, so it fits almost perfectly. We will also have implemented some music. Uh, I, I think Ignacy suggested to have uh, some nature voices, something like that. So you will also be able to like, you know, get more into the theme to hear some, um, let's say, waves and birds creeping and any other stuff that will like put your gameplay to any more immersion that you normally have. And let me tell you about these uh, themes, because um, let's say if you want to play zombies, uh, at the beginning when you press the app and you choose your number of days. Oh, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. No, let me just, let me just, uh, because uh, the, main, the main thing that is missing and I believe that you think that people know that and they absolutely don't know it. So when she says, when you press zombies, what the hell does it mean? The app comes with the set of cards that are built around one theme. Here we have dinosaurs, zombies, something like that. Pirates, pirates. And that means that you can play any of scenarios in the game. Castaways, uh, King Kong, uh, Indiana Jones, whatever. Very, very different scenarios. But the so app has though. dedicated, dedicated uh, in a set of cards build it around a one theme, like around the zombies or like around the dinosaurs or like around the pirates. That means that 
all the cars that will be drawn in this very particular game will be built around this one theme. So Joanna designed, that's why she's here with us, because she designed all these new, brand new cars. How many cars there is in the one set? Well, I think about 120. One set? Because you have like 30 um, events and like 15 uh, adventures so building. So she designed, There's a lot. So she designed 300 new cards because it's three different uh, set about, settings. And you have uh, 100 cards and all the theme, all the flavor, all the rules are about zombies. You have 100 cards all about uh, pirates and you have all the cards about the dinosaurs. And when you play this, uh, this setting, this one, one, one theme, all these cards will be about that. So that's why when she said that she's speaking zombies and I came in because I thought that nobody knows what she's talking about, is that means that she's now choosing this particular set of cards and that means you're not going on the base set of, from the base game, but the app just threw away all these base cards and just gave you the brand new set of 100 cards that are different from the base ones and they're all about the zombies. Now continue. All right, so yeah. one thing that I want to mention is that it's not only about having a different text flavor, but of course it's an important feature in it, but you will also have special mechanics uh, complementing those themes. So let's say you want to play with zombie adventures. So you will be able to uh, get beaten. And let's say there is a mechanic. Uh, I don't know how much information I can share with you yet. But let's say that you will be able to get special wounds and that infection can grow onto the other characters. and. All of those rules you have uh, introduced at the beginning when you are setting the theme. We don't uh, have uh, it yet implemented because we don't want to spoil those special effects for you guys. But I can assure you that at the beginning you will be able to learn all those new rules and those will bring a new, fresh uh, like re replayability for the game. And uh, like I have, no. I have a few questions from the chat. First, Down Mage asked me, Volcano Island with zombies? Yes! Volcano Island and zombies sounds like a perfect perfect match. Flea Grande says, I'd prefer if I prefer it if you could just buy those new cards. Uh, I appreciate the comment. I understand that you prefer a physical version, but if you buy it as a, as a physical one, 300 cards, it would cost like uh, 40 bucks. 40 euro you would have to pay for shipping we would have to kill some trees to print these on the cards you would have to make distribution worldwide and now instead of paying 40 bucks for that you pay one buck and you have it so uh, definitely although i appreciate and i understand that you might prefer to play on a physical version now we are able to deliver you expansion that has 300 cards in the cost of one dollar i think this is a good offer so i hope that you appreciate our offer Zombies on Cannibal Island. Zombies on Cannibal Island is the perfect solution and I think that you will love this. this they match. will eat each other. <laughs> yeah. We have pirates, we have dinosaurs, but zombies will be probably much more popular than any other. Actually, we also have uh, the um, American tribes, something like, you know, the ones with the totems. Okay. The question is here, do the new theme cards will be ever be in physical cards? So once again, Morten, no, no, no. We see no reason to produce the physical version and print 300 cards, kill trees, if we can deliver it for free for you uh, in the app for, free, for $1. So definitely no. This is supporting app. The whole point of this app is to provide you replayability, to provide you new, ev new events, new adventures, new, uh, new exciting moments without cost for you. So I think this is a good offer. All right, an idea so. on the chat, Zombie King Kong, so Undead King Kong also. That would be a nice addition, like, I mean, if Ignacy will tell me, Joanna, we want to have a special mode uh, for zombies and mm. King Kong, I can of course develop does, it. Does each theme have a different scenario? So once again, Erin, let me explain you in a moment. So, you take this app, you play any of the scenarios from the game, but choosing this particular set of the cards, you know that all these cards have a one building up story. Joanna, can you explain to people how the zombies ones or any of this, how they work? Like just one example, so they understand what we mean by saying that there is a special rules matching the theme. 
All right, so let me tell you. Oh, we have lower totems here, so let's start with the totems. Not start. This is only. I will. I will allow you to spoil one of these. So you choose one that you will spoil. Others are secret because okay. it's too early. So I will choose spoil wisely. the totem ones because it's graphically most amusing one. Okay. If you if you ask me, because you will be able when you will explore your map and find totems and find totems, they will actually be able to be activated or disactivated. And the power of the totems, uh, which will be also uh, like connected to, to the card. So let's say you will take the uh, card uh, event that says um, that totems are being activated and each um, tile with a totem, let's say, uh, is getting special token on it but you will be able to make that thread action disactivate the totem so let's say i want to make a special action disactivate the totem which will be on the app and put the black token here which means i disactivated the totem and this effect is thrown away so you will be able to interact with the map on the new level and that actually those totems will have thematical uh, implication toward uh, rather uh, in the cards, in the uh, adventure cards and the uh, event cards which will uh, activate totems but also give you the chance to destroy them. So well, what, what, what could I say about these expansions? I, I think uh, that they bring the game to even more complicated level. So for the fans that I actually, and I heard that a lot recently, that they want even more difficulty level. I, I don't know why you guys do that to yourself. I mean, I die a lot and I play a lot of this game. So still dying, I mean, it's up to you, but when you are playing with certain expansions, because uh, as there are a lot of themes, you will be able to play uh, easier ones and more difficult ones. So you can always, uh, you know, take it up to your expectations. You want something more difficult, you go for zombies. You want something less difficult, you go for totems there and was, so on. There was many questions on the chat, so let me catch up with the questions first of all. Uh, first of all, I appreciate all the comments, all the suggestions uh, for the ideas. Uh, as you know, Portal Games Digital is a part of the of the Portal Games, and we have in-house uh, developers. That means that when the app is released, and hopefully you love it, we will be able to improve, improve it and add more features and uh, develop the app to the most brilliant app ever. So all these ideas, we appreciate them. Some of them that you asked uh, are uh, incorporated in the app. Some of them will be in the future. The one that is not yet incorporated, and I think there is a huge demand for that, and I agree. Evil laugh of Ignas uh, when you die. So we can incorporate that uh, for sure as a, as a free update in the app. Uh, ben was asking if there will be a counting uh, of all the deaths uh, in app. So each time you play, you have a uh, noted for, the, for your death, and this is death count. And they want death count on your mobile device and death count worldwide, all the people who died in the Robinson Crusoe. Uh, uh, playing Robinson Crusoe. Who is like the most winning and losing. guy? <laughs> so, <laughs> of course, we want this app to be for you. We want you to enjoy the app. So, all these ideas, uh, if they are possible to incorporate, we will do this because it's up for you and because we have in-house uh, in, uh, coders who can do this. Uh, there was questions also about the chance to make a, uh, a difficulty level in, in the app. I'm not sure if this is already, but I think uh, we will discuss this. Is it already or not yet? Difficulty level, so you can choose the easier, easier cards or more difficult cards. Uh, the difficulty level is normally presented on the book and the okay. adventure area. So, you know, adventures are, mm, you know, more easy to like overcome. Uh, so when you are picking the certain team, you can actually switch the difficulty by choosing Perfect. the book cards and the adventure cards, which are like clicked. There is this to, great, to great idea for the notification that you get notification somebody just died on the Robinson Crusoe island. Would you like to play? So you can follow up somebody, somebody's dead. I have a question. Yep. Can I use the app with 
for example, let's say one of the scenario from uh, Mystery Tales? Or Mystery Tales? Or uh, only from... I mean, that would be a lot uh, of the additional rules, so... I think there is no... Um, there's no problem doing that, uh, but basically we recommend it for the base game. And uh, there was also a question if there will be a base cards incorporated there, correct or not? Base yeah. base cards in the app. Yeah, yeah, they will be incorporated. Perfect. Yes. Is there estimate uh, on timing for the app? So our our plan is to have it for you for Christmas or to have it uh, in uh, in December. As you can see, the app is working. Uh, in the meantime, as you saw, it crashed already when we were doing the demo. So it still needs play testing. It still needs. Uh, uh, some work and uh, it, it waits for the new artwork for the uh, for the better art for the sound effects etc etc but basically the base system already works John can play it and can uh, can test it so the main part of the coding is done the app is working now play testing checking all the bugs improving graphics and adding sound so we hope we aim for the December release as I said hopefully 99 cents in the app store and Google Play and therefore in during the Christmas time we are going to be killed by zombies or dinosaurs on the deserted island. So this is the plan. Or undead gorillas, yeah. Undead gorillas. King Happy Kings. Christmas dying on that island. Correct. Uh, are again when there will be tutorial for beginners. So at this very moment, when we release the app in December, uh, tutorial is not planned uh, for the for the app. But uh, believe it or not, our coders approached me and and told me that they want to do the tutorial. So it, it's a rare situation that the coders wants to have more work. <laughs> But they asked for that, so I told them, uh, finish the app, uh, finish the basic version of the app as it was planned, and then we can discuss about the next milestones for the app. And uh, I think it is uh, it is a future for the app. So it will have uh, these uh, new events, new adventures, these new settings, and it will have a tutorial feature, so you learn along uh, how to play and how to set up the game. But uh, small steps, uh, I always say small steps, mm, uh, so not at the very beginning of the, of the app. Jonathan says, I'm catching up on the video, but have really been looking forward to this. So behind on the Spiel Digital updates this week, damn job. So Jonathan was at work and I haven't heard about the, all this information. The information is very simple. The app is uh, coming up in December. In the app you will find three teams, uh, zombies, dinosaurs and pirates at the very beginning, as far as I know. And, uh, each uh, theme has around about 100 cards. Each of these cards is connected with the one team. Of each of these cards brings in a small piece of new mechanism. And so you have these uh, thematic new rules in the in the scenario, and you play regular scenarios using this app. Correct? Yes, exactly. Hold on. Did you really say it is just ninety nine cents for this? Wow. It says uh, ask Darren. Yes, ask Darren. No brainer. You know that, right? Uh, yeah, so we wanted this app to be free because we appreciate that you already bought the base game of the, of Detective, but of uh, Robin <laughs> But yes, this uh, Detective on an island. Yes, but the development of this app uh, went higher on the cost than I expected, and we have to uh, to to we cannot afford it to have it for free. But it will be very very cheap, ninety ninety cents, just to uh, cover the, uh, the this basic cost we had. You learn how to die on the island. Like option, yes, we, we we can do tutorial how to die. I would I look forward to testing the app out. Says Benjamin, Benjamin, absolutely, mm, uh, you are part of our uh, portal gamers uh, team. So definitely hit me on Discord, and you will get the app to play test. When you die, can it have it pop up with Ignace laughing at you? Uh, we will discuss this feature. It is possible. Awesome app. Really looking forward to it. Love this game. Will the promo cards be included? Uh, promo cards, you mean those cards that you can buy in our Treasure shop? chest, I guess. From the treasure chest, the new event, the new mystery... So there was no promo adventure cards, as far as I know, but there were other, but there were events, for sure. This is so simple, just... Uh, yeah, yeah, uh, they can be incorporated. It's Absolutely. not a problem for us. Uh, there was also a question about if we can do a contest for fans to design such a theme. And this is also possible. We just finished the contest for the scenario. So when we finish this part, uh, next year we can announce a contest for the for the cast. Absolutely. Okay. Approximately date for the tutorial and no comment on that yet. Sets of cards with camera for detective. Detective scenario for Robinson Crusoe. No brainer. No. Yes. 
Kate asks, do you have to choose a theme? Can you just use the app as a stand-in for the base decks without a specified theme? Yes, Kate, you can play with these regular cards. So that that way, in this situation, the supporting app is just uh, uh, allowing you to play with uh, less fiddliness without the, without this card and playing a base game of of, of Robinson Crusoe. But of course, uh, I guess most of you will try to try these zombies, the dinosaurs, etc. Darren, funny in my life now, I have found myself saying out loud, no brainer. All the great games Ignacy has designed, and this is the best gift I have received from him. Mm, if no brainer is the greatest gift I provide you, let it be. Mm. Uh, all the extra cards you offer on the site, I have all of them. Erin, uh, so yeah, so all the cards that are events will be in the app. Uh, of course, the app doesn't have a beast, doesn't have a invention, so they will not be part of the code. Yeah, it's easier to like you know uh, have them set on the board, so you don't have to click through it because we already have a lot of information on the screen. Can the app select a random theme? You can close your eyes and pick. Uh, at this point, no. Uh, are there any plans for the web app? Uh, I'm not very uh, familiar with all these technical issues, so I know that I have a coders who do this uh, app version, and I have no clue how to change it in the web, so I will not comment to not say something stupid. A long term, it would be great if the app could allow multiple players to play social distance only one player needing a copy of the game. Mm, I, I, I don't see it because each of you would also have to uh, set the board in their home. I mean, it's doable, but it would be quite problematic for you to keep everything updated on the boards besides the app. Brian asked if uh, can we request access to iOS beta uh, testing through flight test, uh, test flight. Yes, Brian, if you want to help us uh, play test the app, uh, reach us at portal portalgames.pl and uh, we will discuss with you uh, possibility to have you in the team of testers. Uh, absolutely, we are using test flight for iOS. Uh, devices. By the way, I just thought about we have the game actually on tabletop. So if you want to play while social distancing, you can use the app and support the board on the tabletop. So we invite you to try it. So Paul was right in the end. <laughs> All right, so do we have any other questions? Oh, the chat is on fire. We have uh, 100, uh, almost 150 people in the, in the chat here. Uh, maybe via Tabletopia, exactly. Uh, will the scenarios from the upcoming adventure book Kickstarter be available in the app? Ask Morten. So Morten, once again, the app doesn't have any scenarios. You are having your physical scenarios on the table. You have your physical board on the table. You have your physical dice on the table. You have everything physical on the table. And the app, the only thing the app has as a card. And the trick part, the amazing part is that along with this basic card, it has these thematic cards for zombies, dinosaurs, other other themes. So you're playing on your physical copy, you're playing on your physical scenario, and then instead of drawing a card, you're clicking something in this device and something will pop up and it will make sense thematically for the pirates, for the zombies, for the dinosaurs. Correct? Exactly. Benjamin, if you could get a seat number, then you could sync the app. No, no, no technical comments. I don't understand them. Would the resin markers for Robinson be available after Essence Spiel? I have everything of Robinson already, just want to resin markers. Uh, down, I believe they are on our web store already. Will it be available for both iOS and Android? Yes, Erin, of course, we will have it uh, for both uh, platforms. Now, when do we find the app on Google Play Store? Ask Jan. Jan, we are aiming for December, so you can play for Christmas. Hopefully, it will be in time. Sorry, Ignace, of course. Now, no worries. We are here for you to discuss this. So, shoot me any questions about the app or about Spill Digital. Uh, wondering why the Beast deck was not implemented. Because it was uh, strictly designed to run events at Adventures. That was uh, our initial idea. idea. We came up with this idea. Chevy Dodd, our friend, came up with this idea when we designed the uh, uh, first Martians. Then we can use the first Martians idea to have events and adventures in the app and make it for the Robinson Crusoe. Mm, uh, 
Good job, John. Uh, absolutely. Uh, as you saw here in the live stream, me being surprised how many cards she designed. I didn't, I didn't know that there was so many of these cards. I thought like there's like 30 cards in, in this. So uh, 300 cards, uh, three different themes, uh, amazing stuff. Uh, let me take a break and invite you to our booth. On our booth, we have amazing books from Ignacy. This one is Play Smart, How to Be a Great, Great Game Master in Role Playing Games. Two funny books about game design. Janna is that good designer because she read these books. I think. Uh, this, is my funny, mm -hmm. <laughs> this is my funny stories about the designing uh, Robinson Crusoe and helping develop Legacy and Tizius and all the games I did. So you can check out uh, on our web store here at Essence Spiel in a very good promotion. We have during the Essence Spiel on our booth in a special category that is uh, language dependent games. These are games that we release in Poland and we sell them in Poland. We have a couple of copies left and we thought, hey, you can add them to your basket and have something interesting. So, for example, this one is Sentinent, a very thinky dice management, uh, dice uh, a manipulation game, brain burner, too difficult for Ignace. I don't play this game, I don't understand this game, I cannot play this game. Did you play it? It has amazing dice, yeah. I, I, I love the design of them, yeah. Uh, for me, too difficult for her, just okay. Sentinel, the amazing, amazing game. You can buy it very cheaply because we have it on sale during Essence Spiel. One of the best games I played this year, the Macher, Ara Control game, political theme. You are running a campaign, you are chief of the party. Very aggressive, neg negative interaction we played together with John and Marek a couple of months ago. We have a few last copies left. Uh, this is Polish edition, but the game is language independent. You can just download the rulebook from the board game geek and have a blast. A real gem, a unique game, uh, uh, very rare to get. Uh, strongly recommend. Check out our booth and get one of these last copies we have uh, left. We have on sale, and it makes me sad. It makes me cry. It makes me so so sad. But we have it on sale. Alien artifacts, the last copies, along with the bundle with the expansion of Discover and Breakthrough. Breakthrough. Discover designed by me and Breakthrough by you. Or something like that? I think that's how it yeah. was, yeah. So if you like Ignace or if you like John, or if you like us both, Alien Artifact with expansions on our site, amazing 4X card game. Caladale Castles, a family game about the tile lying, with the tile lying mechanism. We are building a castle. I love it. I have it in my collection. We have some copies left of Polish edition. As I said, the language independent. Great family fun. You are building a castle. Uh, love it, absolutely love it. What else? We have last copies of Steam Rollers. If you like train games, if you like roll and ride games, this is a train game. And this roll and ride game we released two years ago. As I said, we have some copies left. Once again, language independent, a rare game, uh, impossible to get anywhere else. Uh, Steam Rollers on our website. What else? The Rising Five. If you like Mastermind. Yes, the old classic German game, if you like deduction games. You guys played it a few weeks ago during the UK Game Expo, so you can check out gameplay on our website. Rising 5, Polish edition, a language independent game, designed by Gary Kim, one of the best designers, Korean designers. Artwork by Vincent Dutrois, my favorite artist in, in board games industry. Rising 5, on sale uh, at our booth. And I could go on and go on and go on. We have a great promotion, we have uh, these metal Metal. Oh, that was not smart. Sorry. Uh, we have we have metal coins. Uh, we have playing mats. We have all that jazz. So live streams to interact with us and great sales and promotions on our booth. So you can spend money and have some amazing amazing memories from the show. Love Alien Artifacts says Crack. Thank you. I appreciate. It. I love it too. Can you play Alien Artifacts solo? Absolutely. Yes, you can play it solo. Marek shows me that I need to shut up and finish the stream, but I will not do this. Alien Artifacts deserves more love. I agree. Age of Steam, the dice game. This is about Steam Lores. I love Age of Steam. I have Age of Steam. I love Steam Lores. I have Steam Lores. I love them. Both great games. No beer with Steven or Paul. No cookies with Ignacy this year. This is a very different, different essence, but I hope you enjoyed it as well. I have the Alien Artifacts base game. Can you make an expansion bundle to buy on your shop? I don't have access to the shop, my team has it because I love you too much guys and I would sell everything for free because I love people playing my games. Uh, Marek is really pissed off that we need to finish up, so that was... Joanna Kijank. Uh, Co-designer of Empires of the North, co-designer of uh, many, many expansions, uh, designer of many expansions, uh, full-time developer at Portal Games. Uh, she's uh, with me tomorrow at uh, noon or at 
Yeah. 2 p.m. at noon. I at, think noon, at noon. At noon we do epic Q and A. So prepare your questions for Joanna. Prepare your questions for Ignatz, and we are going to be with you for uh, for some time, uh, asking, answering your questions. And then Joanna tomorrow is playing for the first time in public. 51st state monologue expansion. Expansion that she designed for my game. The game is brilliant because I designed that and the expression is brilliant because she made it. So check it out tomorrow, 2 p.m. or 4 p.m., something like that. You need to go to our booth. You need to check our schedule. You need to learn the schedule and be with us. So Jana is with us tomorrow, Saturday at Spiel Digital. I will be here with you today and tomorrow. Thank you, guys. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Treasure chat ships in November. Thank you, thank you, thank you. And uh, Marek is almost ready with uh, finishing this stream, but I'm not ready yet. Uh, in 15 minutes, I'm running the detective demo. Thank you. See you later.